Athletes from the greater Rift Valley region put aside their spikes and running shoes on Friday to bid farewell to one of their own, the late world marathon record holder, Kelvin Kiptum. Let's listen in. For a marathoner that set a record in every course he ran, this was his last run, a slow run escorted by the people he spent a lot of time with. The pole bearers were all athletes, both field and track, as well as road runners. Calvin Kiptum's death brought together the whole athletics world with representatives from World Athletics, his sponsors Nike, as well as his rivals on the road, but good friends of athletics, athletes from Ethiopia. They all painted a glowing tribute to the fallen hero. You were a kind humble and charismatic young man who left a great impression on anyone you met. At only 24 years of age, Kelvin Kiptum was a generational athlete. In our short time together, Kelvin became an immediate and impactful member of the Nike family, bettering the sport and our Nike brand forever. Kiptum was just starting off in his marathon career and speaker after speaker shared the marathon plan they had discussed with the late Kiptum. We in Athletics Kenya selected a team of male and female marathoners to represent Kenya during the Paris Olympic Games in France later this year and his name was on top of that list. I'll never forget the chills he gave me as he crossed the finish line, setting the world record at the Chicago Marathon. And I quote, I have still yet to feel pain in any marathon. Lord Sebastian Coe, the World Athletics President, represented the organization at Kiptum's funeral. World Athletics had just ratified Kiptum's world record of two hours and 35 seconds set in Chicago in October of 2023. Kelvin, you will be missed. Our grief and sadness will take time to dissipate. Rest assured, your achievements are treasured, indelible, and secure in the annals of our history and never ever forgotten. May you rest in peace. The athletics world was looking forward to Kiptum running at the Rotterdam Marathon in April, where he was to attempt a new world record of sub two hours. That was to be followed by the Paris Olympic Games in August, where he was a sure bet for a medal for Team Kenya. Paris 2024 Olympics will be special for Team Kenya because all the leaders at the funeral of Kelvin Kiptum have asked the athletes to go and win for Kelvin Kiptum because one of the things he really wanted to do was win an Olympic gold medal for Team Kenya. As we are heading to the Olympic Games in Paris, the only thing, and I'm requesting our sportsmen that they are going to be part and parcel of this team, that the only tribute we are going to give to our brother, our champion, our legend, keep to is to make sure that we go for, when we go to Paris, every medal that we will be participating in, we make sure we get. Na kwa hivyo tunaomba wale wanariadha wote ambaye wataenda Olympics to honor this great son here by carrying our flag high and shattering many other world records. Paris is going to be the Olympics that is going to define this man, Kevin. We want you to make Paris an Olympics of Kevin Kiptum. For Sports Cabinet Secretary Ababu Namwamba, Kiptum was more than just an athlete and a friend. He says Kiptum was almost like family and he had high hopes in the young athlete. Ninaposema kwaheri to a boy who has been like a son to me, a boy who really I had a lot of faith in. I was looking forward to Kiptum shattering the two-hour ceiling in the marathon and for him to take a bow in the Olympics this summer in Paris 
as i say kwa heri nasema pole sana na tutasimama na family President William Ruto also took the opportunity to call on athletes to examine their lifestyles in order to live a better life. And uh, we all need to be um, mindful of our lifestyles so that we can avoid instances like this that in a very young, young age, a very promising uh, good Kenyan has lost his life. His funeral service was held at the Chepkorio showground, not very far from where he trained for many days prior to his races. Chepkorio is high altitude at 2,500 meters above sea level. The weather can be punishing. And high altitude comes with a strong wind and a chill. <laughs> And just like they brought him into the grounds, his fellow athletes escorted him out for burial at his farm in Naiberi. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV, Inchipkorio, Keio South.